Anyone getting into construction needs to be trained properly. It's not just putting someone on a job site, give them a, 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 a construction hat, a measuring tape, and say, all right, go learn on the job. I believe there needs to be a process that a young person goes through before they get to the job site that conditions them, their mind, their body, their, their, their attitude, and it conditions them to be more prepared for the construction work life. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. A, accept responsibility. D, develop procedures. E, exercise the judgment. R, remain calm. F, sacrifice when necessary. H, help those in need. I, integrate the strength of others. P, position yourself and win. You see that, they call that win. And what that is, is it's ultimately the most outer edge where the bark was, right? When I talk about visually grading lumber, that's how they do that. Or the Construction itself requires a lot of basic fundamental uh, character traits that you gotta have, like being on point, uh, being on time, uh, being thorough in your, in, in your research, uh, being able to communicate well with others, being able to take initiative, being able to count and to keep track of, of, of money, of, of time. So uh, we wanna prepare our folks and the, the ultimate goal is that someone walks out of the Core Construction Training Academy and they're a qualified candidate for any entry level construction job. So we're teaching uh, sort of the basics of carpentry. Um, and the main elements are, in the beginning, are around understanding terminology, um, understanding sort of being able to recognize different elements of flooring or wall structures. When we're talking about framing, working with timber, so we are teaching them to uh, really to, to, to walk into a house that doesn't have sheetrock yet, right? A house that's framed up and being able to recognize the different components of that frame. Um, and that's just getting them familiar with the things that they're gonna see repeatedly when they're doing carpentry work. We're also teaching them how to read a measuring tape. And as basic as it may sound, um, it, it, it's really, it really takes some training to understand how to use a measuring tape, um, what a measuring tape can do, what it can't do, the nuances of using a measuring tape, um, and the, the mathematical proportions of a measuring tape that's real important when it comes to defining the dimensions of a room, of a piece of lumber, of anything. So measuring, we also have them, uh, after they learn how to measure, we have them learning how to cut. I mean, the main thing you're gonna do in carpentry is cut lumber. You're gonna always be cutting lumber. You're gonna be cutting lumber based on what it is that you're building. So that's always gonna change. Measurements are always gonna change. So getting them familiar with just basic things such as measuring and cutting is just a, a basic fundamental requirement in carpentry. So aside from the actual construction Skills. They're also learning leadership skills, and the, those leadership skills, the purpose is to condition their mind and to, to, to sort of mold the mind into thinking like a leader. 
And when we talk about leadership, it's not from a standpoint of having some position of authority over someone. Leadership, the way we teach, is more about having the confidence and the ability to step up, to prioritize, to communicate, and do it in a way where it's proactive and not having to be the person that's always having to be told to do something. So that's our leadership sort of philosophy is um, leading by example, which is actually our first component in the leadership curriculum that we teach. And it's going out here and setting an example as to what optimal performance and thinking should look like in any setting, whether it's construction or life or anything, right? So we teach leadership to help them understand the fundamental process of attacking a problem, of navigating through a challenge, uh, because that's where a lot of people fall short, especially young people that haven't been taught how to navigate through challenges and difficulties. And in the construction field, uh, I mean, a large part of your day is just solving problems that you run into. And so we have to teach young folks how to navigate through those problems so that they're able to still execute on those goals uh, and achieve whatever they're supposed to achieve for that work day.